crafters lisa here from fun stuff crafts so glad you could join me for another inspiration friday so this week is the first um, completed week of our 30-day challenge so what have you guys been creating i've been having so much fun just looking through my supplies to see what i could create so as i was going through my craft closet i came across some sea glass so I've got a great project that we're gonna use using sea glass. But if you don't have sea glass, I bet you guys have got some pebbles someplace that you could find some rocks and maybe a few twigs. So this week's project is what I am deeming pebble art. And I had so much fun. So this is one that I made to test it out to show you guys. I had some frames on hand and so that is a key that you definitely want to have some frames and they are the shadow box type frames so it was just so much fun you guys and i have been cruising the internet looking for cute little sayings to put with my pebble art so i can't wait to show you the whole collection so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video and i'll show you i've made four so far and I just think they're so cute. And one I think is really great for Mother's Day. It's right around the corner. And then the other one is a gift I'm gonna give to my son and daughter-in-law because guess what? Baby is due next week. So I can't wait to give that to them. So I am gonna actually join you in a minute in design space. Now I'm gonna tell you, you do not need a Cricut for this project. I just used the pen in my Cricut um, to do the wording on my pebble art. If you guys have got great penmanship, skip this part totally and you can just write um, right on. But I really had fun finding a font that I liked in Cricut um, and then using um, it to write. And then the other thing I had on hand, you guys, is I had some watercolor paper. And so this was the perfect size to be able to do these little designs. So, you know, just a few supplies I had on hand. I had some sea glass on hand, definitely had some pebbles out in my garden. Um, I've got, had some glue. Of course, you're gonna need some glue, a pen and some paper. So pretty basic supplies and then a frame um, is what you're gonna need. So I hope you stick around for this um, Inspiration Friday project, the first one in our 30 day challenge of crafting with supplies you have on hand. And hey, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks so much. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. So give me a second, I'm gonna get my camera angle change and I am gonna meet you right in Design Space and I'll show you how I use the pen feature in my Cricut um, to do the writing on these cute little pebble art designs. Let's start this pebble project, pebble art project in design space. So what I like to do first is I like to come up with the size of frame I'm going to be using. And my frame I'm gonna be using is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So what I do is I start out and I went over here to shapes and I just put in a square that is five and a quarter by five and a quarter, okay? So now what we want to do is I want to add my wording in that I'm gonna be using. So I've come up with a saying that I'm gonna use and I just love this, to the world you are a mother, to your family you are the world. So one thing I wanna show you that I've done here is now I am using burger and fries as a font. I think it's a really cute font. But the fonts normally default to a cut and they, de -cut, they default to a regular. And I don't know if you guys know this, but you can change this to handwriting. So now it's just a single line and I'm gonna come up here also and by doing it to handwriting you can see it automatically change it to pen okay so now i know exactly where i'm going to put my saying on my card now i have got a twig that i found out in my yard i'm going to use but say you don't have a twig you could actually add an image in so this is an image that i found 
And if I want it to be drawn on my card, I can come up here and I can char change it to pen. And then we would have our twig all done too. But I'm gonna use an actual piece of twig that I found out in my yard. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that branch back off. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, make sure this is all attached, okay? So I'm gonna grab both those, I'm gonna attach it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit make and it's gonna show you exactly what it's gonna look like on the card. Now I've already got the card cause I'm using the water um, color paper, but I'm gonna put that on my mat and I'm gonna put a pin in my Cricut and we are gonna get this written and then we'll move over and start adding our little um, features onto the card. So I've got my paper all loaded in my mat and I did end up designing a second um, card that we're going to do. And so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the um, Cricut button to start. But first I wanna make sure you guys see that I've got my pen loaded because that is the whole key here. We're wanting our design to be written on this cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button and of course, like normal, my Cricut is loading in to double check. It's gonna go across to the side and it's gonna make sure that I've got my pen in. And there she goes, working away. As you can see, it's interesting how it decides to write, but it is working away. So we're gonna let that finish and then I will join you over at the craft table and we will put this cute little pebble art together. So we've got our little prints off of the Cricut and I wanted to show you the second one. I wanted to show you how I was gonna do one where I drew on the branch versus using a twig that I found out in my yard. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these from the board and put that off to the side. And the other thing you guys I added is, I did add in my name and a little 22 at the bottom. They always say to sign your art. And then let's start to look at, I think I'm gonna work on this one first, okay? And what I have is I've already went through some of my sea glass in this case. We can use, um, pebbles or you can use sea glass. I just happen to have a large jar of sea glass on hand and so I'm going to use that. I also had on hand a frame that I had picked up um, at Walmart. I think this was 388 and I had it in my stash and what I did is I had two of them so I took the back off right and this is how I, it came apart. And the key here is, is I wanted to use a shadow box type frame for this because this wood has got, you know, some depth. So we are going to be using that. And then I'm also gonna be using some super glue. I've seen people make comments that a leans has worked really well. Um, so there's all different ones you can do. Before we glue it down though, I always like to play with how I'm going to have it. And I think I had decided that I wanted to use this stick because I wanted mom to be up a little bit higher. So it looks like I might have to trim my stick a little bit. But this is what my thoughts were, is that I could show three kids and that is three little chicks here. And what I like to do is I like to play with the design first because we are gonna mark some little beaks on here and kind of like to center it a little bit just to play with it. You know, I could change my mind and go ahead and go with this one. And I think actually now that I've laid it out, I'm going to. And what I'm gonna do is just give mom some longer legs. So it looks like and it doesn't have to be mom, you guys, but um, I thought this would be a cute card for Mother's Day or a cute little um, design for Mother's Day. So what I wanna do now is I wanna take my pencil 
and I'm just going to mark him where I want those beaks at. Okay, so I'm thinking that mom's going to have a beak that goes up like that. Okay, and then let's see, let's start over here. Let's have this one looking out that way. And let's have this one going that way. And I think I'm going to turn this one so it's looking at its sibling. Maybe it'll be a little bit shorter. And, and you guys, there's no right or wrong here. So now I kind of have an idea of where I want those. I'm also want to put down so I can see my distance. I'm just gonna add legs. And your birds by all means don't need to have legs. I just think it adds a little bit of personality. Okay, so let's move those off. My twig is a little dirty here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna use the same Cricut pen that I use to make the words. And all I'm gonna do is I am going to now draw those beaks in. And so I'm just gonna color them in. You can definitely use a Sharpie. And for that matter, you guys, you do not need to use your Cricut to do the wording. If you've got really good penmanship, I would say have at it and write your own cards. Definitely, or your own little sayings. And you guys, there's so many different ideas for sayings. Um, I've been having so much fun just looking on Pinterest for ideas, um, just Googling um, on, um, on the internet. And so it's just lots of fun to find different sayings. But since Mother's Day is coming up, I thought this might be a really cute little um, piece of artwork that someone could give to their mom. And then I'm just gonna give my birds little feet. And if those are hidden by the twig, that's perfectly fine. Just gonna add it. And just see how simple this is, you guys. So now there's no right or wrong, like I said before. So there we have, it looks kind of odd right now. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my twig on first. And I'm just gonna do some super glue. Now, you guys, you might wanna put gloves on. I like this um, Loctite because it's a gel control and you push it here to apply it. And then I'm, it doesn't need much, but remember that your um, stick is got dimension to it. So you wanna make sure that you're laying it, that it's not going to move. I think I'm going to have to squeeze some in there, you guys, because I've got to get where I'm actually touching something. My ones I did before were a little bit flatter. So think about that when you're looking for your pieces of wood. So now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of super glue. You don't need much, you guys. Um, and I am going to line that up with the feet and with the beak. And this is how easy this all comes together, you guys. So talk about using supplies you have on hand. You might not even have thought of rocks in your yard as a supply that you might have on hand. But it's so much fun. And I just love all the different sayings that we can do. The other one I'm going to have fun with is, I think I told you guys I'm going to be a grandma. In fact, could be any time. She's due next week. So we're getting really excited. But the saying on that is, I thought it would be cute to give them once the baby was born. Okay, and I think I got that laying a little bit different than what I had planned on, but that's okay. There's no right or wrong reason way here. So how cute is that, you guys? I just think it turned out so cute. So now what I would do is see how it's gonna go in the frame, and it just adds it. Now we could have painted this frame if we wanted. I'm just making this super simple today. 
So I'm gonna let this one sit for just a couple minutes because I wanna make sure that twig especially is locked in place. And let's come over and let's look at this one, how we're gonna set it up. So I think I'm gonna get some pens and I'm gonna color on this one a little bit just to add to it. But this was my idea, it's, and then there was three. So we've got Papa and we've got Mama and we've got baby. So how cute would that be? And let's see. Again, I'm just playing. I've been going through my sea glass, just trying to figure out what's the best way to do this. That little branch is, I think baby might be sitting on that branch. So I think in this case, I'm gonna have mom and dad, and maybe I'll have baby's nose going straight up. So let's go ahead and do dad. And let's do mom. And let's do baby. And then we're just gonna do some little legs here. Perfect. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna go grab a brown and a green pen so we can do a little bit of color. Okay, I think instead of using pens, you guys, I opened up my cupboard and I remembered that I have all these colored pencils. So I'm gonna use those and just do a little bit of coloring. So this is another great reminder, you guys, that you can use your Cricut to do pages that you can color. Definitely adding a personal touch to this when you add the coloring in. Again, our whole idea for these this 30 day challenge is to create things with what you guys have on hand. So pebbles in the yard, you do not need to use sea glass. Um, the ones that I showed you at the beginning of the video, um, I did do with pebbles that I had just found. So you can definitely do it with rocks. I had a friend stop over yesterday and she took a picture of it and she was like, oh my gosh, Lisa, this would be a great project for the kids to do. They could, um, you know, collect some rocks and, and do this. And it's absolutely something that you can do with everybody in the family. I would suggest though, that if you are doing it with kids, that you um, are with them when they're using the super glue um, to glue things on. Let's give those leaves a little bit of depth. I'm just gonna add a little bit different color in my leaves just to give it a little difference. And I just think this one's gonna turn out so cute. So I'd love to hear your guys' ideas. What are you guys doing on this 30 day challenge? We need to get more people sharing their ideas, sharing their creations um, to see what's all out there. But I would just love to see what everyone is working on. I've had so much fun. And I did a post on our Facebook group earlier this week making a comment that um, the one benefit of doing this is I am having so much fun rediscovering what supplies I have on hand, and I'm doing a little bit of organization. So, okay, so we got that guy colored. So let's use our pen and let's fill in those beaks and legs. And if you have pencil marks after you do this, just make sure your ink is dry um, and then you can erase those pencil marks. It always looks so funny until you put the pebble or the the sea glass in place just having these little beaks another thing we can do is we could add an eye to our little little guys and i think i might do that on this one that'll be really fun so what i'm going to do now is let's put dad in his place 
Okay. So I don't know how many grandmas we have out there, but this is my first grandchild we've got coming. And I still think it's so funny to think that my son is gonna be a dad. It's just, I can't wait to see how he is. He's great with kids, so I know he's gonna be great with his daughter, but it's still just so, so funny. Thinking that he's gonna be a daddy. I can't wait to be a grandma. So I thought this would be so cute. They got the nursery decorated so great. So look at that. How cute is that one? So simple, you guys. So, so simple. Okay, let's put these together and see how they look in our frame, okay? So I'm gonna tap that one just a little bit, making sure that that is dry and it feels like it is. So let's take, I'm gonna turn that frame upside down and I'm going to slide this in there. And this one was not as easy to get out with these little nails that they've got on the sides. There we go, got that in there. Let's see if I can get this. Now this one that I picked up, you guys, does not have, I gotta get something to bend this back a little bit more. Um, this one does not have a hanger. But being that it is so thick, um, this will stand up really nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to adjust this after we're done, but I just wanna show you how cute that looks. Isn't that just darling? So let's go ahead and do this other one. I'm gonna get me some pliers. Okay, grab the screwdriver, and let's just get right under there and bend that up. Not meant to be taken out, I can definitely tell. Just gotta pry it a little bit. There we go. And let's go ahead and put this one in. back in. And there we go. Look at that. How cute did that one turn out? So I'll give you a close up view and of the other ones I made and let me know what you think about of this great project which I'm calling pebble art. In this case, I use sea glass, but you can definitely use pebbles, which you'll see in my other ones. Thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday.